Advertisements and public service announcements, aka PSAs, have been a part of human civilization for eons. I'm talking word of mouth, flyers, newspapers, radio, billboards, television, etc. You know what I'm talking about. Some of these ads and PSAs hit, some of them miss, and some... well... some are just flat out creepy. So, I found this iceberg chart on icebergcharts.com. Shoutouts to the legend Big Marsh for showing me this website. It's very good for looking at iceberg charts and iceberg related content. The chart was co-created by Pen and Hex Studios and Walrus64, and it boasts a massive 125 entries. A link to this chart will be in the description if you want to look through it or follow along throughout the video. All of these ads and PSAs were made for television, so that's the type of media we'll be delving into. And of course, we'll be going through them all, and I'll be adding a few ones at the end as a bonus. I'll have them all linked in a playlist you can find in the description too. Also, to avoid any copyright and general YouTube issues, I'll have to manipulate some of the visuals for certain ads, or not play the audio from them. Oh, and for anything with jump scares, usually labelled as screamers, I'll edit the footage so it doesn't startle you, the audience. So, if you see that that's happened throughout the video, you'll know why. But before we start, let's touch up on our knowledge on what an iceberg chart is. It's an image that's segmented into layers, with entries populating each layer. Each layer is filled with entries starting from well-known, to obscure, and least known. Regarding this iceberg, this also means that the further down we go, the more disturbing, creepy, and flat-out heartbreaking the entries will get. So are you ready? Let's take a deep dive into the creepy ad and PSA's iceberg. For the first entry, I want to start off with something that's a little more tame compared to what's at the very top of this iceberg. We can't just dive in head first, so we'll get to those very soon. Let's start off the first entry with various anti-smoking PSAs. These are made to scare you the hell away from cigarettes by utilizing the shock advertising technique. This is a form of advertising that is made to deliberately startle or offend the viewer with disturbing audio and imagery. By doing this, the ads become eye-catching, memorable, and people's behaviours can be positively influenced. Remember this definition because you'll be seeing a lot of it. Anyway, I know these ads have kept me away from a smoking addiction. Did they work on you too? Kefi Coffee, Screamer Alert. Okay, we've all seen this specific ad. It's a classic, but if you haven't, just know that there's a nice surprise waiting for you at the end of it. Showing the ad to a friend and telling them to focus on the car was peak humour back in the day. What a lot of you might not have known is that there were lots of k coffee ads, and all of them were screamers too. Ah, more shock advertising. We have ones with a zombie in it, some ghoul and then, uh, these dudes. Dumb ways to die. I remember this being really big where I lived because it was an Australian PSA and it was really well received. Basically, this music video was made as a humorous way to teach people about being safe around trains and train stations, with the main message being, getting hit by a train is a dumb way to die. I get that. Safety around trains isn't a hard thing to follow, and the colourful nature of the song makes it easy for kids to understand too. 10 out of 10 PSA. So 10 out of 10 in fact that I wrote and presented an assignment on its message. Alright, so now that we've eased ourselves in a bit, I think it's time to talk about the top three entries. The first one being, PlayStation Baby Ad. <laughs> so, 
Sony thought it would be a great idea to make this ad to sell the PlayStation 3, Play Beyond. Play Beyond what? They also made similar ads with an exploding Rubik's Cube and eggs that explode and release adult crows? Why? Uh, duh, to show the viewer the PS3 cell processor and 6-axis wireless controller. Great. The dawn is your enemy. This Adult Swim sign-off bumper appeared on TV during the early mornings roughly between 2005 and 2010. This was made to scare kids who stayed up too late at night watching Adult Swim, and a sequel bumper aired in 2020 called The Dawn Is Your Frenemy. Did the early morning bumper scare you as a kid? Because I know that if I saw it when I was younger, I would have been petrified. Chef Gets Boiled Alive a Canadian ad that has burnt itself into my memories and many others for all eternity. An accomplished chef talks about her successful work life and upcoming marriage. She then states that she won't be getting married this weekend because she's going to be in a terrible accident. She picks up a hot pot of oil, slips over a grease pile she didn't clean up, and, well, you can imagine what happens and next. She never put the deep fryer so Now that we've got the top out of the way, let's continue down this layer with Domino's Pizza, Avoid the Noid. This 1989 commercial is basically a threat. Buy a Domino's Pizza or take your chances with the Noid. What is the Noid? More well known as SCP-001, it is a Keter class anomaly that- No, I'm, I'm only joking. Nobody, nobody knows what it is. On a more serious note, a man by the name of Kenneth Lamar Noid thought the Noid ads were an attack against him. He got fed up and in 1989, he held two employees hostage in a Domino's for over five hours. The hostages escaped and Kenneth was arrested. This and the aftermath of events that occurred after the incident caused Domino's to end their Noid mascot advertising until recently. Trolley Gummy Worms Stop Motion Ads a monster approaches a kid hiding from it. He's got trolley worm snacks and they sing a catchy tune which gives his position away. He eats them alive and the monster catches him. The dark looking claymation style and the fact that a monster is out to get this kid makes the ad a bit unnerving. Oh, and the lyrics for the song they're singing goes as follows. Trolley trolley trolley, crush us with your teeth. Trolley trolley trolley, eat us piece by piece. Little Baby's Ice Cream. A really strange form of shock advertising. The narrator who is presumably this... dude... describes how he keeps his skin so glistening. And that's because he eats Little Baby's Ice Cream. Ice cream is a feeling. Kinder Humpty Dumpty Ad. So, how do you advertise to kids? By scarring them, of course. This Kinder Surprise Humpty Dumpty ad got banned from airing because they feared the Humpty Dumpty present in the ad. He says a lot of gibberish English, eats the Kinder Surprise and then falls off the wall, and has a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men realized that this fear factor was unintentional but still scary for kids, and they couldn't put Humpty together again. Pee Wee Herman, just say no, PSA. This is crack. What? What the fuck? What's so disturbing and strange about this ad is that Pee Wee Herman isn't his usual happy self. He's very serious while explaining the dangers of using crack. A heartbeat can be heard near the end of the PSA before it cuts off in a big bang. Grubhub Cinematic Universe. Oh boy. <laughs> this ad speaks for itself. It doesn't look too bad at the start, but then it gets really uncanny, really quick. The way these characters move and stretch is just... Well, Grubhub says it best. TFW when you get a good deal on the food you love. Shut up. Burger King Pokemon Ball Recall PSA December 11th, 1999 
A 13-month-old girl in California was found dead in her playpen after she had suffocated on the Burger King Pokemon toy. December 23, 1999, an 18-month-old girl in Kansas reportedly got half of the Pokeball stuck on her nose and mouth. Her father was able to remove it from her face before she was injured. Burger King agreed to recall the toys and ceased distribution of them, and that's how we got this PSA. Quiznos Sponge Monkeys These sponge monkeys were the mascot for Quiznos. Nobody knows what a sponge monkey is, but they're some sort of deformed guinea pig rat thing? Mmm, why would you do this? Various Airheads Adverts These ads are very strange, but engaging. The weirdest ones I could find were of people eating the candy and having their heads filled up with air as they float into the sky. I don't think they look too creepy, but they're strange. In one specific ad, these two people straight up float to heaven to ding dong dash god. Great. Yoshi's Island Restaurant Ad To advertise that this game is jam packed full of content, the advertisers thought it would be a great idea to have a man eat to the point of exploding over everyone in the restaurant he was in. I don't even know what they were thinking. I could honestly say that for a lot of these ads on this iceberg. That also brings us to the end of the first layer, the sky. So let's move on and hit the tip of the iceberg. Nintendo, you cannot beat us. The nightmarish animations, the choppy machine-style voices these characters have, and their quote, You cannot beat us. I cannot express this enough, but why? Smokey the Bear in Human Skin So this PSA aired in 1973, and it starts off pretty tame. The lady tells us about how carelessly forest fires can start, and that we should be careful. Then, this happens. Smokey Bear threatens his audience into not starting forest fires. Okay. <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? It's kind of creepy of him to do that. What the hell, Smokey? Autoway Tire Ghost. Screamer alert. This ad has a damn warning right at the start of it. That's how you know it's serious. We're put into the perspective of someone driving a car in the snow at night. And then a lady is seen standing in the snow all by herself. Take a guess at what this ad was made to sell. Did you guess AA batteries? Because if so, you're wrong. It was made to sell winter tires. The winter roads are scary without them. Okay. Mr. Bucket. So what's so notorious about this ad? Well, people thought Mr. Bucket was asking the children to put their balls in his mouth. Mr. Bucket, okay, he's gonna need a really good lawyer to explain this one, but he actually wants them to put their balls in his top so they can pop out of his mouth. Uh-oh. I don't think Mr. Bucket's lawyer is going to get him out of this one. Scottish Pictures PSA This freaky anti-drug ad was made to show off the worst side effects of taking drugs through the use of this Polaroid photo. It's a pretty scary PSA, and I think it portrays its message well. Snickers Halloween Grocery Store Lady Uh, this giant demon lady tells a lady that the neighborhood kids love Snickers and she needs to buy some for trick-or-treating during Halloween. You know, as you do on a Thursday night, and she forces Snickers into the lady's trolley and scares her away. The giant demon lady looks so uncanny, it's terrifying, but it's okay. It turns out that she's just two boys hiding in a costume. WSIB Construction PSA Similar to the Chef Gets Boiled Alive PSA, this dude talks about his future plans, including his workplace accident that'll happen because of a lack of safety in the workplace. But hey, I'm wearing a busted harness here. And the company should have checked those tanks to the- It's been an accident! Run, get some help! So just stand her! Call the ambulance! 
Such a shockingly effective ad. Burger King, eat like a snake ad. This is absurd. This man is about to eat his burger, but he walks away. This dude becomes one with the snake and slithers over to the burger, eats it whole to the dismay of the man that bought it, and then he nays on him hard, all while erotic music plays. Incredible. Japanese McDonald's commercials. There were four of these fan-made ads created by the people over at the Kikshin YouTube channel, link in description. The first one has Ronald McDonald attempting to break into a girl's house. In the second one, he calls the girl up from outside her house. The third one, the girl is on the phone again, but this time she's on the phone with the police because... And the fourth ad, well... He's Audi! Look at him go! Presumably fleeing the police! Apparently, each of these ads were inspired by the famous horror movies The Shining, Scream, Poltergeist, and Halloween. There's also a quote said at the end of each of the ads that translates to There at all times. McDonald's. McDonald? What? No. Doba Wawa Audi Super Bowl ad. It's a Super Bowl ad. It can't be that bad. Well, I was right, but it's just a bit weird. A couple wants to buy a dog, and they toss up between a Doberman and a Chihuahua. The person working at the store asks if they want to compromise and breed them together. Hell is then bought upon the world by this crossbreed. But it's most likely a hypothetical situation because the couple settled on a different dog, without the compromise, just like their Audi car. What? Big Bill Hell's Cars. This is one of the funniest spoof ads I've ever seen. It just speaks for itself. Big Bill Hell's Car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Super Mario Land 2 ad. Oh, be me, Wario. I am your master. Mario is your enemy. The wicked imposter Wario. This ad is really cool. It's set up to be a conversation with the viewer, Wario trying to hypnotize us, and the narrator warning us of Wario's trickery. Ooh. This seems like it would have been a really effective ad, a beautiful piece of Nintendo advertising history. Although, it probably would have scared a few kids. AIDS Diet Candy. Okay, this ad is just funny because this lady keeps saying AIDS. Make you nervous. The plan lets you enjoy two AIDS before each meal. Mmm, delicious chocolate flavor. And I love being a size 10 again. Lose weight deliciously with the aid of AIDS. Panda Cheese Products. We have five ads and you may recognize this one as it circulated around ages ago. These ads usually go as follows. A person says no to obtaining panda cheese. Panda gets upset and acts out on its environment. It's a very unique way of advertising cheese, but hey, it got my attention and I don't even like cheese. Never say no to panda, I guess. Gush's ad, 1995. A taste that's gonna drive you fruity. It's very, very different. And totally appealing. It's no fruit. Who would do such a thing? Why would someone make such a monstrosity? Because they're so fruity, they'll really turn your head. Yeah? I mean, it's creative, but god this banana is so creepy and smug. Sandy Hook promised back to school. NSFW. This PSA depicts an average school day where kids tell us the new stuff they have for back to school. Everything seems normal until people start acting frantically and begin hiding from an active shooter. It gets real dark real quick. This PSA was made by Sandy Hook Promise, a non-profit organization with the goal of ending school shootings and other acts that are harmful to children. They were founded by the loved ones of those who were tragically killed at Sandy Hook Elementary School on December 14th, 2012. And from what I've seen on their website, their programs and support seem really good too. A link to that will be in the description. Capri Sun Respect the Pouch Well, that's a real change in tone there. 
If you purposefully put the Capri Sun pouch in harm's way, the wrath of the Capri Sun deities will smite you down like the small and insignificant suit of flesh they think you are. Baby Bottle Pops Giant Baby It's just a bunch of giant babies giving bottle pops to kids. It's kinda stinky. I'm a styrofoam cup. I wish I could play the audio for this PSA because it's amazing, but Gangster's Paradise blasts throughout the whole thing. But basically, we're introduced to Joey, the aluminium can, and Mikey, the aluminium can with a styrofoam cup on his head. These dudes sound gangster as heck. <laughs> heck? These dudes sound gangster as hell and Joey over here asks Mikey to get the cup off his head and do the right thing. Get in the recycling bin because recycling is the right thing to do. Thanks, Joey. Very cool. Wilkins Coffee. There are a lot of these ads and they all mostly follow the same premise. This dude speaks highly of Wilkins Coffee. This guy says something contrary and then he gets bonked in various different ways. The ads are kind of ominous because there's no background music to them and a similar exchange happens between both characters every time. It's like they're in a limbo of some Do sort. You drink Wilkins coffee? No! Oh, things just seem to happen to people who don't drink Wilkins. And that ends this layer. The entries are starting to get more disturbing, and we're not even that far down yet. Keep that in mind as we jump into the shallow waters. Nickelodeon, Egg and Spoon, Box and Pinch Face. <laughs> what? Kentucky Fried Lie Detector, 1967. So it seems as though these people have kidnapped the Colonel, strapped him to a lie detector, and are trying to get him to spill the KFC original recipe. This ad's sort of shot like a horror film and it's really ominous. Fun fact, I got my first job at a KFC. Also, don't look into how the gravy's made. Fragile Childhood Monsters This is one of the best PSAs I've ever seen. It's a really terrifying one about how children see adults under the influence of alcohol. The discomfort and distress the kids express really helped to push the PSA's message. The Spirit of Dark and Lonely Water in this public information short, we follow the spirit of Dark and Lonely Water as it explains the dangers of its waters to unwary kids. The spirit is represented by the Grim Reaper which pretty much confirms that the kids that fall in don't come out. But there's an exception to this, the spirit has one weakness. I kid you not, it says, Sensible Children. And as you can see, these sensible children save this kid from drowning. Original Ronald McDonald ad. You know, it starts off like a regular ad, and then we get to see Ronald McDonald. Beta version, do not research! He's just so cursed, and it makes the whole ad cursed. Also, damn, those are some big chips. Charlie says, Charlie the cat teaches us to never go off with strangers. This PSA, just like so many others, is really ominous. The child's narration, the paper style characters, and the backdrop of the park are a bit creepy too. Speaking of the child's narration, it comes off so innocently and it adds to the depressing fact that lots of kids get abducted in this way every year. I'm off with people I don't know. Then the man went away. We went and told mummy, and she said we'd been very good. I got an apple and Charlie got something he likes. RSPCA, My Little Puppy PSA. This PSA is really upsetting. A dog is adopted into a family. Everyone is happy for a bit and then they get sick of the dog, don't take care of it, and well... Endless love and attention. And when all the fun's over, it's easily stored away. I didn't like that. Pets aren't toys. Burger King Clown Ad. 
This dude gets chased down by a bunch of clowns, and then there it is. A Burger King restaurant, his savior. But when he enters, he soon realizes that there are clowns in the store and they want their whoppers. At first, I thought this ad was going to be an Eat at Burger King, not McDonald's ad because of all the clowns, but the message is very different. It was a Halloween of 2017 promotion where if you rocked up to a store from 7pm onwards on Halloween, you got a free Whopper. Montana Meth Project There are a lot of these anti-meth Montana Meth Project ads, and they all follow a character's descent into meth addiction as they try to deny that they would ever get addicted. These ads show off the extreme size of an addiction and I have to say, they make me not want to do meth. Not even once. Sally Ventriloquist Child Abuse PSA In this NSPCC PSA, we follow a childlike puppet puppeteered by a man as he controls her to be gloomy and isolated. This is a metaphor for child abuse and it really nails home that message during the final parts of the PSA. Duck and Cover This is an educational ad from the early 1950s on what to do when an atomic bomb goes off. Duck and cover, that's what you're told to do and apparently it's actually an effective thing to do when you're in the range of a nuclear explosion as standing upright or uncovered increases your chances of serious injury or death. Although if you're in range of the nuclear fireball, then this won't save you. Jack in the Box Clown Explodes An ad made to sell Jack in the Box burgers. Everything is pretty normal in this ad until the end where this old lady tells the Jack in the Box employees to waste Jack. Waste them. The food is better at the Truth unsweetened. Some more shock advertising. A sugary treat style street float drives through a road with singers on the float. You'll notice that these singers have deep and scraggy voices, and that's because they've all been negatively affected by smoking. Whenever the camera cuts to the people on the street, they look appalled. Then this statistic is brought up and the ad makes sense. You could also see the stories of the singers on the Truth's website, but I don't think you can anymore. Tarako. I just... I... I have no words for this QP pasta sauce ad. Howard and the Class. This ad about money has some very interesting looking characters in it. The animations are very quick and snappy too. They remind me of something that can be done in Gmod or SFM. Strange. Denny's Nanopus. To advertise that Denny's was giving out a free Grand Slam from 6am to 2pm on the 3rd of February 2009, they thought that whipping out the Nanopus was a good idea to show how epic the Denny's Grand Slam was. They did my boy Nanopus dirty. 1970s giant head Mr. Potato Head. Alright, let's see what this is about. <laughs> ah! Why would someone make this? And oh my god, the toys! Whose idea was this? Yummybuffet.mpg This can't be as uncanny as that Mr. Potato Head, right? Come and experience Yummy Buffet. It is located between Lawrence and Pulaski in Chicago. Yummy Buffet is a new and nicely decorated all-you-can-eat restaurant. You are not going to believe it. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Wait, is, is that the equals three font? Beautiful. The way the robotic narrator tries to talk up the place is hilarious, and the way it emotes is magical. Have any of you been to this place to eat? If so, please let everyone know what the experience was like in the comments section. God, I hope Yummy Buffet is still open, because if I ever visit America, I'm eating there. Chris Cunningham. I have no idea what she's saying because her accent is ultra thick, but it's something about mental wealth. Have you? Mankind went to the moon. I don't even know where Grimsby is. Forget progress by proxy. Thanks, PlayStation. And I know what you're thinking. How did she make her pigtails so perfectly? Well, well, well. Let me tell... Nah, no, I kid. You're wondering about her eyes and giant forehead, aren't you? It was done through the power of technology. 
Which is funny, because people thought she actually looked like that. Japanese Ogre Baby Kleenex Commercial I'm speechless, yet another ad where I just... I don't know... Kleenex, man? Say no to crack, say yes to roller skating, hell yeah man! This ad starts off fine, and then it turns into... I just, I, I can't even explain it, just, just give it a watch. I wanna be addicted to roller skating, not crack. Because we roller skate today, we will go to college tomorrow. Prison is full of people that have never roller skated. I say no to gay. I say no to unplanned pregnancy. I say no to meth. Why'd they do this kid so dirty? The shot lingers on him for way too long, and he looks so unsure on what he said. And then the kids and criminals got addicted to roller skating. Together. The end. MTV Guillotine. <laughs> this bumper? Pretty damn creative. But not much to it really. Keep America Beautiful, Crying Indian PSA. America is looking like swamp ass, and this Native American, who is referenced as having a respect for that land, hops off his canoe and gets some swamp ass thrown at his feet. He cries at the state of swamp ass. But in all seriousness, this is a message I can get around. I like going outside and seeing lots of lush green nature and not rubbish. And now, we're going to end this layer with a bang. Literally. Alice in Wonderland Gun PSA Over one third of all American households have a gun. Ask your neighbor, is there a gun where they play? Asking saves kids. This is a very effective gun safety PSA. Chilling. A few of those ads and PSAs left me pretty speechless, and they're only going to keep getting more and more stranger from here as we swim deeper to the body of the iceberg. Carb Solutions Baby Shower Commercial Oh, I shouldn't. I'm on this whole low-carb thing. Oh, I read about that. It's so cute. Not as cute as these pigs in a blanket. Come on, Johnny. Touch the diet. You know, I'll just have this. Oh. Now it's easy to be good and stick to your low-carb diet with Carb Solutions delicious bars and shakes. Carb Solutions, it's good to be good. This just comes so out of left field, but not even the devil can tempt this lady because she has carb solutions. It's an okay ad. Hitogata. Lost. Dubbed as the White Shadow People commercial, this is supposedly a long lost Japanese ad that has a lot of history to it. People have been recollecting what happened in the ad and it's been searched for for many years. Some have even questioned if it ever existed at all. What you're watching now is a recreation by Tofu on what is thought the ad looked like. The text that appears at the end says something like, Every two seconds, someone died on the earth. Creepy. If you want more info on this ad, I've linked a Blame It On Jorge video in the description. Phones for you, ghost girl ad. Screamer alert. Number 15. Burger King Foot Lettuce. This little girl haunts this lady just to show her this really epic phone plan. Cool? Smurfs Bombing PSA This PSA was approved by the Smurfs late creator Peyo, and it aired in 2005 in Belgium and was designed for the United Nations Children's Fund. Their goal was to raise money for the rehabilitation of former child soldiers in Burundi and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. These places were both former Belgian colonies, and this PSA was shocking, to say the least. Hyundai Grim Reaper Commercial The Grim Reaper claims a victim after she gets out of a car that led her onto the other side of the road. 
Rewind time, she tries to get out onto the other side again, but she couldn't because the Hyundai Veloster has one door on the left and two doors on the safe side. Goodbye Grim Reaper. <laughs> Not sponsored by Hyundai. Gif Gaff Halloween ad. Lady being chased by a man with a saw. Uh oh, the man with the saw is being chased by a clown, who's being chased by a ghost lady, who's being chased by someone else, and so on. For some reason, this is an ad for the GIF GAF mobile network. It's interesting, but I never would have guessed that. Varaka Heika Yata. This is... I don't know what this is, but I think these are a bunch of bumpers for a TV channel. They're oddly... calming. I feel a great sense of relaxation while watching these despite this bear almost drowning. It's like I'm in a limbo-like world away from any other. I don't know, I just feel nice inside. Crinkles the Clown Breakfast. Well, that peaceful feeling was short-lived. What more can I say here other than Crinkles looks a little spooky? I think it's the lack of colour in the ad that does that. Kind of makes him look like a demon. Ego Monster Girl ad. Screamer alert. Right. It's so yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Can we have all the Ego to ourselves? Dolly, 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 dolly. Obama hamburger sussy balls. Is white, sussy boy. The whole point of this ad is to say that Ego waffles are so good that you can't let them go. The ad isn't as scary or as big of a screamer as the others, but it's still a strange surprise. Stalker Virgin Mobile ad. And I just had the best first date. I think he's the one. And now, with my Android powered phone from Virgin Mobile, I can email the pics I took to my mom. And with unlimited data and web, I can go through his Flickr stream to make sure I'm hotter than his exes. Follow his Twitter feed to see if he's mentioned me yet. I can even. Jeez, that is terrifying, but I think it's a pretty effective ad. The Android plan lets you do a bunch of stuff, so go crazy like this lady. Or maybe, probably, don't. Friday is Happy's Pizza Time. Happy's Pizza Time! Rib tip or shrimp! 999! Pay the game! What the hell is a rib tip? Sure, the Happy's Pizza mascot is a bit crudely put together, but it's pretty tame for an ad with a computer generated mascot. Apparently, this is also a Vine Source Joel meme. Neat. Original Jolly Green Giant. This ad seems fine, so what's so creepy about it? The music and animations are charming, and the little world that's built here is nice. Maybe it's the giant standing in the valley that's meant to be disturbing? It probably scared a few kids or something. Mr. Yuck. This is an interesting commercial that attempts to teach kids to stay away from the dangerous stuff around the home. Anything poisonous will have Mr. Yuck stuck to it to warn kids not to drink it. I can see why this would have scared some kids. Death is a scary topic and Mr. Yuck doesn't mess around. Barambo 2 What the hell is Barambo? The song that plays is an absolute bop, but man does everything look uncanny. What a lovely love story. Freddy Freaker. It's the freak phone. And here's the party freak. Freddy Freaker. Ah! Stop gyrating, please. What do you want? I, I don't know what you're selling, but just take all my money and leave me and my family alone, you 19004904490 freak. RSPCA, shoot a dog. Oh, this seems nice. What a cute little Please dog. Give us a pound. Or we'll have to pull the trigger. Oh my god. What? Nasonex bee commercial. These are the strangest bees. Wait, are these even bees? These are the strangest wasp bees I've ever seen. 
very cursed. Also, oh my god, the side effects you can get from taking this stuff are... Headache, viral infection, sore throat, nosebleeds, and coughing. Yeah? Eagle Man. What's that? Do you have insurance on this car? No. It must be Eagle Man. I've got something for you. I didn't ask for this. Nobody asks for this. Who is Eagle Man? Why does he do what he does? This ad creates more questions than answers and I just... You know? Actually, a lot of these ads and PSAs in this layer have left me pretty speechless. I'm not going to interject anymore in between each layer, so buckle up and get comfy as we go deeper. Skittles, Share the Rainbow, NSFW, Fake. I do remember seeing this as a teenager and I can't show it, but I can explain it. Ahem. A newlywed couple are doing the deed in a hotel room and Skittles somehow find themselves on the wife. Why was this made? No idea. Was this a fake ad? As the entry says, yes. Baby Secret Doll. Mattel's new baby secret. She whispers just to you. I think we've all seen this ad and or seen it get memed on before, but geez, it is just so disturbing. Orangutan Kit Kat PSA. Everything in this PSA seems fine until... yeah. Greenpeace wants you to give the orangutan a break and to stop Nestle from buying palm oil from companies that destroy the rainforests. I think this is a very shocking and effective PSA that really drives home its message, especially with the orangutan finger Kit Kat. The crunching in the blood makes my skin crawl. Stairs, domestic violence PSA. This one is beyond upsetting. A child hears his mum and dad arguing because his dad was late from work and dinner was packed away before he got home. The arguing turns to violence as the child's mum is beaten and the child, well, he sits there and witnesses all of it. So depressing. But what really feels out of place is this Pizza Hut ad placement. I don't know what the context for having it there was, but they must have been part of the campaign. I think that's why the adults were arguing about pizza in the first place. And I swear the child says, ooh, pizza. Pepperami, it's a bit of an animal. Screamer alert. <laughs> Pepper Army. It's a bit of an animal. Yeah, so we're going to focus on these types of Pepper Army ads. The Pepper Army mascot is so aggressive and kind of terrifying, especially in the first few ads. Star Chic. This is a technical nightmare full of mascot knockoffs and these two kids, all to sell shoes. Yeah, I'm just as confused as you are. Return of the Calbee Dog. This was an ad made to sell chips. Remco, baby laugh a lot. Remco's baby laugh a lot. God, I hate it. Why would anyone make something like this? No one in their right minds looks and listens to this demon laugh and laughs back to it. This should be a PSA to burn these toys in holy fire. Orkin Pest Control. I mean, the ad is disturbing, but it's clever with how it sells the pest control service. And this ant in the car eyeing the house looks so goofy to me. 10 out of 10 ad. 
bunny01.mov. This was an ad for a creepy animation night by anime, and here it is, the spooky rabbit that so many of us have seen. This guy's face says it all. Above the influence, stop looking at me. So this is an anti-smoking PSA and everything looked normal and fine, just a regular conversation between a smoker and their dog. The art style is pretty cute too, so what's the problem? It's the music that's chilling. Imagine hearing this music start playing when you're alone at night. Pop-Tarts Yeti ad. This is a little cursed, especially when the Yeti does a little bit of a how do you do fellow kids? Dirt Devil Exorcist ad. This ad looks like a legit movie about an exorcism. This ad is copyrighted pretty damn hard, so I don't want to run the risk of getting a copyright claim or strike. But basically, a priest and some others enter an apartment complex to perform an exorcism. Everything goes ballistic as the possessed lady screams and slides back and forth on the ceiling. We're then shown a shot of the floor above everyone, and it has an old lady using a very effective vacuum cleaner. So, the lady isn't possessed, she just got sucked onto the roof because of the vacuum cleaner. Such a shame I couldn't show the ad. It's a 10 out of 10. Beware the Judderman. This is an ad for an alcoholic beverage by Metz, and the imagery all throughout is pretty... <laughs> chilling. You have a lot of freaky stuff going on here, but as the entry says, beware the Judderman because as we see here, this man is taken by the alcohol and becomes the Judderman's puppet. Two Rock Evolution. We have two ads for this game. In the first ad, this man hits his foot on a sprinkler and goes owie. But uh oh, the dinosaurs smell blood and then everyone gets game ended. In the second ad, this guy cuts his hand on a swing set being cheeky. How? Doesn't matter. Uh oh, times two, the dinosaurs smell blood and everyone gets game ended again. Pretty creative marketing, but I feel like it's trying to make a dinosaur shooting game seem like some sort of horror game when it really isn't. Hanna Barbera Anti-Drug PSA they present taking drugs like a fun trip at the start, in all honesty, but then we get to the gates of hell... <laughs> See ya. That face the guy makes at the end is kinda creepy too. It's like a metaphor for how withered you can become by taking hard drugs. Cleaning Girl Anti-Meth PSA I don't know what we're watching here, but clearly, there's some similarities between obsessively cleaning a bathroom with a toothbrush and the lady scratching herself because of her drug addiction, right? And it's also portraying a sort of fidgetiness you get. Pretty powerful marketing, really shows off how bad drug addiction can be. American Cancer Society Smoking Fetus If it wasn't obvious already, don't smoke while pregnant because of how it can affect you and your baby. It won't smoke a comically large cigarette, but, you know, worse things will happen. Crusher Kittens Launch A glass of Crusher, it's tough enough to make milk shake. Add milk, or we'll crush her. Honestly, this ad is just confusing. The whole point is what, exactly? That if someone doesn't add milk with their Crusher, they'll crush her? I don't want to become like one of those cows, let alone these strange, stretchy animals. I can see how these cats would look creepy, but I don't know, I think they mostly look adorable playing their instruments. Cat's Eye Pest Control's new jingle. Warning, this ad is kind of epic. Bingus and the gang prepare to go to a house to get rid of the pests that have invaded it, and they do it politely by kicking them all out. The jingle in the video is pretty cool I suppose, but I don't know if I can really play it. Also, yes, 
The animation style is absolute nightmare fuel. It's pretty clear that the animators didn't have a high amount of resources or experience. Monkey on their back PSA. Screamer alert. They say, people addicted to heroin have a monkey on their back. Isn't that cute? No, 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 no. People addicted to heroin have a monkey on their back. It's not really cute. I can see how this anti-heroin PSA would have spooked people when it aired in the 70s. Carrying a monkey on your back means you're carrying a burden or problem that you're finding difficulty getting rid of. That's a pretty smart and effective way to describe a heroin addiction and bring awareness to that problem. Captain One Troll Still doing those bills, hunt? <laughs> Just resting with a credit card balance! <laughs> You've been feeding on those high interest rates. <laughs> I mean, I guess this troll would scare you if you were a young child, but god damn, this couple kicked its ass. The monster is real, PSA. This ad's really effective, to say the least. It crawls under my skin and it's a pretty shocking PSA. So, this kid thinks there's a monster in this closet. Over the course of the PSA, he'll tell his parents and they'll tell him that no, monsters aren't real. So the kid confronts the monster, and then... Lurpak Ardman ads. Lost. Our first lost media entry. These were created by the animation studio Ardman and the ads followed a character called Douglas, who was made of butter. The female narrator often gets annoyed with him in the ads too. Some of these ads have been uploaded to YouTube, but they can only be found in cut up or incomplete forms. TV3 Horror, NSFW. This is an NSFW bumper for a reason, so I can't exactly show you the gory stuff, but I'll explain it. This band goes on a break for a sec, and a guitarist decides to smash in the neck of the band's singer. Blood gushes everywhere, and the other guitarist slaps the instigator. The drummer gets a cymbal from his kit and throws it at the slapper guitarist, and slices his head in half before going back to playing the drums while everyone screams in horror. Jeez, uh, how many people did this scar? Teletoon, Night Planet Baby. This nightmare of a bumper is for a TV channel aimed at kids and teenagers. Why, 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 why? The Meth Project, ER. This lady is wheeled off into the ER after having some sort of meth related emergency and she gets pretty angry and violent. Do you think she learned her lesson? No. She winds up back where the cycle started, taking meth. This is a pretty damn depressing ad. Meth has clearly destroyed this lady. The meth project makes some powerful stuff. Ad Council, Crashing Glasses PSA. When friends don't stop friends from drinking and driving. <laughs> friends die from drinking and driving. God damn. If it wasn't obvious, this is an anti-drinking and driving PSA. Using the glasses of alcohol as cars to crash was pretty impactful too. Very effective PSA. The Meth Project. Kevin. More Meth Project ads. Let's watch. This is the school he dropped out of. This is where he beat up his best friend. This is what he used to dig imaginary bugs out of his skin. This is where he now spends 23 hours a day. It's such a downer. The use of the color gray, the depressing atmosphere, it all culminates into something that uncomfortably shares its anti-meth message. Rodney on heroin. So this is an anti-drug PSA, and we are presented with images of Rodney not on heroin, and then on heroin. 
We keep getting images until we hit an image of Rodney either overdosed or dead. YouTube won't like it if I show the image, but yeah. Just like the meth project ads, this one hits like a truck, showing what can happen to someone with a drug addiction. Door fruit face morph. How can we go from anti-drug ads to this? This dude's creepy face morphs and he inflicts pain on himself. It's just, it's really uncanny. And that's how you sell... jelly cups? Human face dog Amazon commercial. I'm in agony. Mr. Soapy. Oh look, it's Soapy, here to tell you that it's important to wash your hands. If you don't comply, you surrender yourself to Soapy. Lucas Aid, Desmond the dog. Here comes Desmond, Desmond the dog. We love Desmond, Desmond the dog. I fucking hate Desmond. Don't speak on my behalf. Okay. Desmond is kind of a baller. I take back what I said. Oh no, Desmond. No. De Desmond! Man likes hams. What can I say? Blood and Guts, Nick Bomb. Alright! Kill Bambit Box! My name is Blood, and this is Guts. I don't know if you know, but I'm born from Cuts. I'm here to tell you I'm gonna be big in the charts, cause I sound proper- I, I don't know what this is. These two things beatbox and rap for a rat. The blue one providing the beats braps real hard, and the red one spits some lyrics for the soul. This bump is agony. Lauren Cox PSA. Oh man, this one hurts. A father is filming her daughter doing whatever, and then this message pops up. It's just so upsetting. To lose a little baby like this, plus her parents, because of one drunk driver is more than enough to make me never drink heavily and drive. Take care of yourself and your friends. Don't let them make a mistake this big. Jesslyn Rose PSA. This PSA follows the same premise as the Lauren Cox one, except the story here is a little different. Jesslyn Rose was killed by a drunk driver, only 11 years later. It's portrayed that she had to suffer through 11 years before the accident eventually caught up to her. Crackhead Bob. Another PSA, except this one's an anti-drug one. We follow Crackhead Bob here attempting to say the alphabet, and, well... A depressing but really effective PSA. Jacqueline, Texas, Department of Transport. Mmm, okay, okay, okay. This PSA is very confronting regarding the aftermath to the human body after a drunk driver incident. Jacqueline, the victim of the accident, explains that this is what she used to look like before the accident. I'll let the ad speak for itself. Before two of my friends died. Before I needed more than 40 operations. This is me when my life was just like anyone else in college. This is me after being hit by a drunk driver. Sadly, Jacqueline suffered burns to 60% of her body and passed away recently in 2019 due to cancer. She was a symbol for the dangers of drunk driving and her tragic story will live on as a reminder. I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. It's told through the perspective of a child who had shot his brother with a gun. See for yourself. Well, there was a hole in his tummy. A bullet hit him. 
I saw red grass. The gun was in the garage. I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. I didn't mean to shoot daddy's gun. Fightglobalwarming.com Tick This global warming PSA has children explaining the consequences of global warming while saying the word tick as a way to show that time is running out for our planet. Plus, the delivery of this PSA really gives the issue some urgency. Devastating Our future is up to you. Go to fightglobalwarming.com while there's still time. Project for a Drug-Free America, Snake. Another anti-drug PSA, but this one uses a Garden of Eden-styled metaphor. This guy comes off as a friendly drug dealer who wants to give you something nice, but then his true colors and intents start to show. Anything to cop more, steal from your mama, lie, cheat on your homeboys. But hey, that's the price you pay when you deal with dudes like me. Now, some folks will tell you that I'm dealing in poison. But hey, do I look like the kind of guy that would do that to a kid like you? Yes! Do you see any similarities? I can see how this PSA could be creepy, scary, or a little confronting for someone, and it definitely gets its message across. Tax Doctor This ad's uncanny. It feels like a beta, do not research type of ad where it doesn't feel complete. Something's missing. IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts, but you can stop these IRS actions. The Tax Doctor will work with you using our years of experience to represent your case to help the you- The white the void background, the looping doctor's animations, and the overly confident narrator combine to make one uncanny ad. Let's talk about the doctor's animations for a sec. What the hell is this? He runs like he's about to murder the viewer with his clenched fists and solar stare. He's also got that John Lennon style walk. Don't look at me like that. Luke Stahler, Stage 9 AIDS. This PSA left me just... speechless. The struggle seen in this PSA because of AIDS is very confronting. Africare Shoe Boxes, NSFW. This one... Oh, the most confronting ad on the iceberg. It plays some very ominous music while text explains that we, the audience, don't like being asked for money, so they're asking for something else. Lost Satan Alleyway ad, could it exist? Good question, could it exist? The answer lies in a reddit post, kind of. The co-creator of this iceberg chart, Walrus64, had this to say about it. Someone on a Blame It On Jorge video put in the comments something about a Lost Satan Alleyway ad from the 60s. He described it having Satan and having a creepy atmosphere. Some people think he oost saw the end of a Twilight Zone episode, but who know if it could be real or not. We have an interesting lead here. I can't find the original comment about the ad, but I have found a possible The Twilight Zone episode it correlates with. The Howling Man, Episode 41. To summarize, the devil is locked up by Brother Jerome for being the devil, and then he's released by this man called Ellington. Oopsie doopsies, says Ellington, and to atone for his sins, he hunts down the devil over many years. He catches him and aims to return him to Brother Jerome, but uh-oh, Ellington's maid hears someone howling and opens the door to the devil's prison. Moral of the story? You can catch the devil, but you can't hold him long. Having watched the episode, I can see how some scenes might be interpreted as some sort of Satan in an alleyway ad if you've been channel surfing and see it, or if you were young when this happened and your memory of it is clouded. 
This could be the Twilight Zone episode referenced. The episode did air in the 60s, specifically first aired on November 4th, 1960. So what about looking at the Lost Media Wiki? No hits. The Lost Media Archive? Got a hit for the Looney Tunes Merry Melodies, Satan's Waitin', where Sylvester falls off a skyscraper chasing Tweety and dies. He's then sent to hell, but I don't think this is what Satan Alleyway is referencing. So if this ad were to exist, it is really lost, and hard to confirm if it ever existed. But that's how speculations go, I suppose. And now, we move on to the final entry of the Iceberg chart. This relates to one of the creators of this Iceberg chart. Apparently, they were in a Lost Cartoon Network bump. I've tried asking and haven't gotten a response, so has someone else on Reddit. The creator or creators have been active on icebergcharts.com seeing as during the scripting of this video, they added the Tax Doctor ad when it was pointed out. So they could be just dodging the question. But what bumper is this referring to? I don't know. I see the Steven Universe image for the layer and I've looked for bumpers relating to him but I haven't found anything relating to this entry. I think the only way anyone will know the answers to this is if one of the Iceberg chart creators explains it. Uh, now what? We can't just end the entries off like this. So I've gathered a few creepy ads that weren't included in the chart to show you all as a little bonus to wrap everything up. Balfour's footy pie. Lost ads? Footy. Pie. Footy. Pie. Footy 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 pie. Don't get confused. Nothing Now, is if you're wondering what the guy bit into, it was an Australian rules football. The footy pie ads sort of creeped me out, but confused me more as a kid. I also remember seeing a different version of this ad, not this one. It followed the same premise of a guy biting into a football and not a pie because he's silly. This guy looked a bit more aggressive, but like a regular sort of person anyway. I can't find this version, all I can find is this older one. So that's why I've added the lost ads part, because not only can't I find the ad I watched as a kid, but there are probably some others lost out there too. But who knows. Neat 3B Action Cream So what's the best way to sell cream that eases chafing pains? Crying body parts. What's going on here? Why do the boobs move like this? Yo, just put my ass out of its misery if it ever starts crying. Hang on, how do you put an ass out of its misery? Let me give it a try. And now, we move on to the final entry for the bonus section. Any of the roof seal ads. Just any of them, because of the CGI seal they have in the ads, is a demon. When your roof is getting lost between the lichen and the moss, when your mortar isn't where it ought to be. If I had kids, I would not trust this dude with them. His stiff bodily movements and insane looking mouth movements come together to make him a nightmare. But he's a beautiful piece of Australian advertising history. The roof seal has truly graced us all with his catchy tune. I've got that number memorized for life. One three hundred thirty six seven o seven o. Roof, roof. This has been the creepy ad and PSA's iceberg conquered. Thanks for watching. What a massive endeavor this has been. We went through so many different types of creepy ads. PSAs, and we even looked at some possible lost media. Shoutouts again to Big Marsh for showing me the beautiful website that is icebergcharts.com, and thanks to Pen and Hex Studios and Walrus64 for making this colossal iceberg chart. And as said before, the link to it will be in the description along with all the videos related to each entry. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, that would be very much appreciated. Comment down below your thoughts on the iceberg or the video, I'd be curious to see what you have to say. With all of that being said, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day or night, whatever the time may be.